Hey everybody, I installed the fuel pump. It's underneath there. It's underneath uh, the trunk, like underneath uh, underneath the metal for the trunk. So it's like above the gas tank, but not too high. So I got it all set up. Um, I got everything else all set up here, as far as you know, uh, for a second uh, startup attempt. Uh, I just uh, turned uh, my key and uh, left it on the run position, and it uh, sent uh, gas all the way up to the filter, and it went inside the filter. And uh, I just I just looked, and I saw like a little bit of gas going into the carburetor when I when I uh, flipped the throttle, but it wasn't like a jet. It was just like a kind of like a little dribble. So I got my neighbor Frank here. He's gonna help me out. He's gonna turn the key, and I'm gonna blip the throttle. And I'm also gonna have a bottle of gas standing by in case I feel like I can use that. Okay, so everything is all set up. I double checked the car, the the rotor. It's all facing number one cylinder. The spark plug wire is all in the right order. All that stuff. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm ready to start. And uh, yeah, so uh, here we go. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a a little bit of gas there, and uh, I'm gonna count down to, to three, two, one for Frank, and he's gonna turn the key. Okay, three, two, one. Here, can I see the light for a sec? I just made a big mess all over the place with the gas. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm not getting spark. I don't know. It's not even going. It's not even doing that. Um, okay, I'm gonna give it a second try. Okay, try it again, Frank. Okay, try it. All right, so that's gonna be the second startup attempt. I'm gonna to have to figure out why it's not starting. Um, Did you put your hand over top of the... Should I do that? Yeah, I've seen guys doing that, you know, like... Yeah? Yeah, try it. All right, okay. Try it again. No, no. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to... Yeah, just turn, turn the key all the way off. Yeah. Yeah, because the fuel pump is uh, run uh, on the run position, so it's on the second click before the start, yep. right? Because I haven't, you know, got a, a relay switch hooked up with an oil pressure switch and all that stuff yet. Um, yeah, there's a lot less activity than the first time. There's no backfiring or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's not starting. I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, yeah, it's full battery. You know, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't get it. I did do a little bit of, uh, okay, Frank, I think I'm going to, I'm going to call it a night with that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your help. Yeah. yeah. Anytime. Yeah. It's too bad it didn't start. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I did do a little bit of work in the distributor. What I did is I uh, I tried to get one of the one of the wires inside uh, replaced. Okay. And uh, I was I was I just thought for sure that the wire and electrical auto you know store would have uh, the wire, but when I got there, the guy was having a real bad day, and he didn't really seem like he was you know interested in helping me out. And uh, I eventually got him to feel better, and then he went and like got me something that he thought would work. But he looked at the wire that I showed him that I got from the distributor, yeah. and it was really, really, really fine, fine, fine wire, right? And he's like, "Oh, I don't think I got any anything anything like that." But he gave me the closest thing he got, 
And uh, what I ended up doing is I ended up thinking that I should remake that same wire with the leftover of what I had, right? And mm -hmm. uh, the wire's connected to both spots. It's it's crimped properly and everything like that. So it's connected back to where it should be. The The copper strands are connected with uh, the other copper plate that are connected to the, you know, the places where they're supposed to be. There's some other stuff that works better than gas. Yeah? I don't know what it's called. I was just... I just read about it or heard about it recently and um, I can't remember anything about it other than that it, uh, it, it's, it forces a combustion somehow it, uh, it's like, like it creates an explosion somehow yeah another thing that I did is I uh you know reassessed where top dead center would be with the harmonic balancer and I, I discovered that I was actually you know a bit off because the marks weren't accurate so uh yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know what to do I'll think about it and I'll just keep on trying stuff okay honey. well all right thanks Frank okay I, I stay and talk but I'm making supper yeah yeah no worries okay thank you Another thing that happened is I, I started using a, an electric fuel pump because I really messed that up. And, uh, yeah, what I did is I took uh, the, the manifold line that was supposed to go from the manifold here down to the distributor. And I just connected it to the windshield wiper up there thinking that maybe... Maybe that would, you know, still let me use my windshield wipers. And I also didn't want to really leave that just like sitting there like that. So I decided to connect it to something. Um. Yeah, who knows what's going on. Like the firing order is all right. But it doesn't even seem like there's... Doesn't even seem like there's any. Maybe I did something when I was messing around under the dash. Maybe I did something when I was messing around underneath the dash. Maybe I did something when I messed around underneath the dash. What I did is I ran, I powered the, the, the fuel pump to the ignition like switch at the run position. So when it's uh, run, it turns on. Um, and I moved the, this white wire here, which was the light for the, the tachometer. I moved it. That's all I did. Maybe I'll do some more. Maybe I'll do some more volt testing with uh, the voltmeter. Maybe we'll do some more testing and, and see if the, the coil is getting 12 volts. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I remember how to do that. So I think I'm going to do that. Oh, look at that. That's a puddle of water. Coming right from right from there. Yeah, the rambler needs some work. All right, everybody, so I'm going to get to it. I'm going to put that away. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that away. All right, I'm going to clean up. Okay, 1958 AMC Rambler Super Part, I guess, uh, maybe 75. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.